material into two. There it is. And then I am going to transfer my refined image. There it is. Because I still want enough length to float my length, I will push it this far. Always leave enough space. And then I am going to take my pack of different colored chalks. I always make sure to use bright colors on dark materials like this because you can see it. Uh, here, like this because you can see it. If you use a dark color, it's not going to be very visible. So for this one, I can use white. And I am going to place this right at the center. Make sure you have enough space on this side and on that side. And I am going to outline this sketch nicely. There you go. It does not have to be perfect. And because I want my gown to flow, I will drag it down. I won't cut anything yet. And then on this other side, I am going to sketch. There you go. And because I want my gown to flow, I will let it go. So here I have the outline of my dress. You can see the, the lines. I need to make that much bolder. Then on the other side, always note where your shoulders were on this side. You can even mark that with a pin so that it is visible on the other side. See, if you mark it, you can see it here. So I get my measurements of the back. I place them squarely here. And then I outline that sketch again. I want my gun to flow, so I let it. And this side, there you go. I will now take my pack of pins. Here they are, and I am going to pin along the marks of the chalk. Only make sure to pin up to where your bust is because we need enough space for you to fit in your arms and at this point you can take your scissors and cut this side that you had pinned you can leave it at that So here is your pinned garment and you can try it. So here is my pinned dress and for me to make sure that it has enough space for me to try it on. I always pin a few centimeters from the markings of the chalk. See this is the sketch marks of the chalk and this is where I have pinned it all through. For you to be able to try your garment on. Remember that zip that we talked about? This is where it comes in. Flip your garment to the back 
And then from where your hip measurements were starting, you need to take a cut from there all the way up to the top. And then you are going to pin your zip so that you can unzip and zip as you need to. So here is our pinned garment. And this is where our hip width is. So I make a mark over here at the center and then draw it all the way up. And this is where we are going to put our zipper. So you take your scissors and you make a cutting. Closing your zip all the way up. Make adjustments if something does not feel right. You can. So far, your top looks like this because you have not sewn anything, and your back looks like this. You need to lift this flap, flip it over your shoulder, and then. Hold it together with this pin. For now, you can just make use of your small pins and pin those two parts together. Do the same with this flap. Flip it over your shoulder and then pin it together with the front bit. Now that you have your pins, you can just pin it together. So far this is how your dress looks like, but you can change this. See it is already falling off now that you have your zipper. Ah, you can make sure that this holds tightly together here, but this is how you design your arms. Just take a piece of chalk. I have my piece of chalk here and then you can outline from where the tip of your shoulder is to your underarm. See that mark? That is where you're going to cut and then here this is your shoulder. For now don't do anything in this part. Just here. Then do the same on this side. Tip of your shoulder underarm up to your armpit that is where you are going to cut and sorry this pin came off good thing you have lots of pins and you can already pin that so with the back if you have someone who is close let them help you with marking and on this other side you make the right marks and make sure that this holds together in fact you can hold this and already make your marks then take off your gown and zip take off your gown and 